All right, guys, one of the main things that you guys never see because nobody ever shows you the hard work and you guys don't realize that puppies are a lot of hard work. I don't, they're not even born yet. She's sitting in a box. I've already serviced the floor and there's a thousand and one ways to skin a cat. You're gonna come up with your own system. I've got a friend of mine who's got like 11 puppies right now <laughs> and he's been showing his puppies and they're all clean and she he does a great job with his little marketing <laughs> and uh, we're the videos, but nobody ever shows you the rough side of what's going on. I've got a kennel that I bought. I've got tarps. I've got all this money that goes into this, this, this Dura whelp. You can, you can build your own. But bottom line is, it all costs money and effort, and your time is money. And when you start working on 11 puppies and you're trying to keep them clean and, and have to service them every day and keep things clean and disinfected, it's a lot of work. And then you're talking shots and food and, and, and vet bills. I mean, if she has a problem, a complication right now, we're gonna have to run to the vet. That's gonna cost me a vet bill. So when you get done, with all your effort and all the hard work that you put into puppies, there is no money. People think there's a lot of friggin' money. There isn't. I mean, I paid a really substantial amount, eh, mediocre amount for a stud fee, for a very good quality male, and I did that on purpose, and I put that investment in. But it was TCI, so it was artificial insemination. Anything could go wrong. I could have thrown the dice and not even got a puppy, right? So, um, in other words, she wouldn't have caught, and I wouldn't even got a breeding, and that was the risk you take. So, the bottom line... There's everybody and their brother wants to breed puppies right now. And they, because of the romanticism involved with seeing the cute little puppies and, oh, that's so cool. And in reality and truth, you're bringing dogs into the world that most of the time, most people can't handle. These Malinois and high drive dogs, they can't even get handled by the public because they don't know what they're, they're doing and they're ignorant. So the, within a, a year or so, those dogs end up getting thrown in the pound and get put down. There's thousands of them being put down because of, of our uh, human nature being in, in America, being a throwing away society. And they think they know what they're getting into and they grab these dogs and these dogs are way too much for the general public that doesn't have a friggin' clue. And they're getting put down. And it's because of people that are selling their puppies and not screening their people. You gotta make sure you ask the right questions and make sure you, you with these high drive dogs like this make sure you place them in the right hands otherwise they're just going to get thrown in the system and get put down and it's not fair to the dogs and it's not fair to the, the puppies and everybody thinks that this is a, a cakewalk it's so romantic because all you see on instagram and all you see is the romantic side well i'm going to see if i can show you the the nasty side the side of of, of cleaning up every day and the the shit and the the cost and the, everything that goes with it you know and, and take away a little bit of the romanticism involved with getting puppies because it's a lot of work, it's a lot of money, and then when you don't know what the hell you're doing, you're overmatched and you end up sitting in the fucking parking lot, excuse my language, and it pisses me off, I just saw it yesterday, with a whole litter of puppies, and you're giving them away at the fucking Stater Brothers, right? Just pisses me off, right? And this stuff goes on all over the place, and then the dog gets about eight months, a year and a half, close to 18 months, whatever, and you get tired of all the bullshit that that high drive dog is throwing you, and you go to the pound and, and put the dog in the pound. It's just, it's wrong, guys. It's just wrong, right? Remember, you are the only one that can solve this problem. What, how do you solve it? By being common sense and being educated and making sure you do the right things, right? So, very irritating, but it is what it is. I thank you much. Have a good day, and there's my lecture for today. There's more coming. Believe me, I'm going to show you the, the nasty side of shit as we go along and make you realize how much money it costs, right? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.